guys, welcome to another episode of Builds by Bailey. Today I'm going to install those handlebar grips that I was telling you about in one of the last videos. So follow along with me today while we install those grips. So I went down to Speed Deluxe and got a new set of grips. Uh, these are Bitwell, uh, the Torker grips. Uh, they're in 7 8 which is the size I needed for the CL360. Uh, they do come in a one inch as well, so if you wanted those uh, for your bike and that was the size that you needed, they do sell those. Um, so, go ahead and open these things up. So the torquers uh, don't have the cushion part that goes in between the uh, grip and like your brake lever so that's why I went with these I wanted them a little bit cleaner uh, and I kind of like that uh, the grip part that it's got on it um, so I'm going to take the old ones off and show you how to put new ones on and if you have any trouble I'll be able to explain uh, some things on how to get them on easier As you can tell, I had trouble getting the grips off of the handlebars just by my hands. So I went and grabbed some compressed air and I focused the air right on the inside here and that created an air pocket which was able to float the grip off of the handlebar. So now that I've got those off, we'll go ahead and we'll put the new ones on. There's some tricks to get those on too if they're stuck. Um, I only use them if I can't get them to slide. You can actually use hairspray. That'll act as a lubricant to get them over there. And then as soon as it uh, starts to dry, it'll act, kinda act like as a glue and it'll stick it in place. Um, I don't think I'm gonna need those for these though, uh, but in the chance that you do, or they're floating around a lot and they won't tighten up, that'll uh, work also.
as you can see I had to use a little bit more compressed air to get the new grips on uh, don't be afraid to do that if that's an option like I said if you don't have that as an option some hairspray will work and it'll just slide right over the end of it uh, the next thing would be would be to uh, loosen up the brake levers and move those to where they need to be at but uh, these are actually in the place that they should so I don't have to move mine um, but if yours need to be moved go ahead and move them but that's pretty much a five minute install. Doesn't take hardly any time. All you need is a little bit of compressed air and uh, the new grips. So once again, thanks for watching this episode of Builds by Bailey. I'll be doing probably another video later today on more of this Riverside prep. Uh, so check back in for another video. Thank you.